wallow, wallow, wallow. Did you say wallow? Oh, shut up, wise ass. This is just silly. I just shared a few sentences. You call entire paragraph sentences? Want a mud wrestle? Piss off, pig. Cindy with Twisted True Sin. How you guys all doing? This is a little video I put together about Charlene Cadle, the author of Letters from Christopher. And it's called The Hand That Rocks the Cadle. Okay, she has said, I was certain I was called to write this book. I know for certain I will never feel the same. Christopher is not your average or normal criminal. I mean, no shit, really? Okay, here's the factual information. She did plagiarize his garden, which is Anne K. Howard's award-winning crime book. I mean, I imagine she had writer's block because she even stole, in my opinion, the whole concept of... So December 11th, 2019, here's what happened. YouTube creator Kimberly, who's pretty awesome and really funny, uh, I'll put the link down below, she was doing the book review for Letters for Christopher, and it was a video called Final Thoughts, Letters from Christopher Copycat Cadle. And Kimberly had discovered a lot of plagiarism on Miss Howard of Miss Howard's book, and somehow, I gotta give her credit, she made it through reading and giving us a summary of each chapter. <laughs> so then on December 19th, Attorney Scott Reich, host of Crime Talk, also on YouTube, he stated that Cato apologized to Ann Howard in private. However, she did not publicly confirm the plagiarism. This is Ann K. Howard and her book. So Scott read a list of demands uh, sent from Ann Howard's publisher to Cadle's publisher. Number one, the book Letters from Christopher was to be removed from any and all online channels, including but not limited to Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and the Dorrance Bookstore. Number two, a complete accounting of any book sales to date. Number three, a public apology on an agreed-upon social media venue, including social media sites and Cadle's book sales venues. Author Ann K. Howard posted the following updates on her Facebook author page, which I will link down below. January 5th at 8.43 p.m. It was a Cadle Gate update. Okay, apparently Cadle had contacted Miss Howard. Told Miss Howard that she had contacted Amazon. And Amazon agreed to remove her book from their site.
and this was done at her request. Ann Howard stated, now we wait to see if it actually happens. Cadle had forwarded a letter from her self-publisher, Dorrance, stating that the book will no longer be distributed. She is purportedly notifying other booksellers now. Ann Howard stated, I'm naturally wary. I'll believe it when I see it. I have retained a top-notch copyright infringement lawyer here in Connecticut. We will fight this to the bitter end. I will not be played. Apparently, Cadle had made an audacious request. She wanted to be reimbursed for the following. Okay, and this is crazy. Expenses incurred. $21,000. What the? Seriously. Apparently, she wants to be reimbursed for self-publishing expenses. She apparently feels entitled to make unreasonable demands such as this. Even though she is the one that plagiarized Miss Howard's book. She wants these expenses deducted from the amount she owes to Ann Howard. Okay, now, hold the phone. Can you believe this shit? Because I really can't. So, Cadle paid a $6,500 self-publishing fee. Dorrance Publishing paid out $12,000 to stock pack orders. According to Ann K. Howard, Cadle is claiming ridiculous expenses. She will hand over the remaining proceeds to Miss Howard, which would be a big fat zero dollars after deductions. Uh, again, what the hell, really? Author Ann Howard stated, if she thinks she's being crafty, she is not. These outrageous terms will not be tolerated. Cadle demands reimbursement for the purchase of a new computer. What the f And Howard says, no surprise there. All I can say is Cadle picked the wrong woman to mess with. All right, Ann, you go, girl. <laughs> We're behind you. Sadly, my publisher and I were willing to be quite reasonable in these negotiations. It was not until she returned with these demands that she angered me enough to hire a lawyer. That's what I call bad legal strategy. Let the games begin. Thanks for your support, everyone. So there was an update on January 6th, and it said, My publisher has been negotiating with her. In the last two weeks, we initially agreed to cover reasonable expenses 
Incurred in writing letters from Christopher. Something I felt very uneasy about, but compromised. Just to get the whole mess over with. So, I initially proposed gas mileage for the six hours worth of prison visits to Chris Watt. No more than five visits. Involving an estimated 80 mile drive. Along with stationery, food, postage. And any possible prison phone calls. Okay, that was more than generous, I think. Considering. That would cap at about three to five hundred dollars. Additionally, we tentatively agreed to permit her to remove the plagiarized sections of her book so she could try to find a new publisher for it using a different title. I felt that these concessions were very generous, which they were overly generous in my opinion. Nonetheless, Cato got greedy. No, really? Surprise! And looked a gift horse in the mouth. She should have quit when she was ahead. This woman is pure greed. Needless to say, all of these concessions... are now off the table. In the action I am bringing against Cato. So January 7th, I'm in possession of visitor logs. She had three one hour visits with Watts. That was it to write her book. Unfortunately, the gas mileage and meals involved in that expense don't begin to compare with the really big demands she is making for over $18,000 in getting the book self-published. Cadel and Dorrance must eat those fees as far as I'm concerned. If you pay to have a plagiarized book self-published, that's your decision. And you bear the consequences. Additionally, if Dorrance paid out $12,000 to print a book without doing a proper plagiarism check that's on them not me one other term she promised to carry out involved a public apology on all of her social media sites of course she quickly took down all of those sites she apparently wants to escape this legal violation. That won't happen. To date, Cato's book, Letters from Christopher, is still being sold online. She's not taking anything down. To me, not very truthful and it's gonna come back and bite her in the end I think anyways talk to you later guys love y'all see you later